update five finally dropped inside of king legacy and with it we got some revamped swords some brand new items c3 and even a brand new awakened fruit love awakening which we are going to be earning and showing off in this video now if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started because i want to use this brand new love fruit i actually have no idea if it's good or not all right, let's do this. So I've never actually used Love Fruit before. So before we awaken it, I just want to quickly use the abilities just so I can see what they do. I'm guessing when we hit it enemies, we can kind of see damages too, I guess. But we have our Z ability pistol, which does 6.4 thousand damage. Not too bad. Then we have the X ability lovely, which dealt like 6.4 again. Not too bad. Then we have servant arrow. Well, that's not too bad. 7,000 damage. That does a little burst attack. That's kind of cool. And then we have Hurricane Kick. Which I need to be down on the ground to use. One second. Let's see. Uh, not too bad. 10.5 thousand damage. Honestly, not that much damage, but kind of expected considering it is only an uncommon. And actually, I think this might be the only uncommon fruit to have an awakening. We have one common. There's there's three rares and the rest of them are epic. So this is the only uncommon, I'm pretty sure. But let's see. If I want to awaken this fruit, I need eight of them. I only have seven, I think, do I? I only have seven. Okay, let me go ahead and feed this. I mean, there we go. Used five um, artifacts. Does it use five every time? It does okay so to actually awaken this fruit you need the c artifact and i'm guessing you need five every single fruit you input otherwise it doesn't work yes he uses five every time interesting okay and then but here we go here is number seven so that is all of the love fruits i have on me and i also i have enough c artifacts okay i got all those from leveling up in the last video but dang i need one more i thought it was seven i'm glad i found one to pick up and eat well let's go ahead i have a few of these keys already i have 65 of them let's see if we can get a love fruit hopefully we can early but here's the animation the opening is actually really cool i'll do a video doing a bunch of opening but i'm just gonna see it open until we get a love fruit hopefully we get it we got a magnet are you kidding me that's not what i need i need a love fruit there we go okay good we got it how the heck did we get an epic fruit out of this one this is the comp this is the basic key but yeah, no, really cool animation. I like the opening. I'm excited to do the video on that. Um, let me go ahead. That's worth 11 points. Not too bad, actually. Looks like I can get a gold key for all these. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There you go. One gold key for all those fruits. But let's see. So we can go ahead and input this last one. And now we have all of the fruits in there. Now, I want to quickly, quickly explain what just happened there on the awakening. So in order to awaken this fruit specifically, you need to get a bunch of the love uncommon fruits. And once you get the love uncommon fruits, you have to kill these deep divers or I think any of the grouped NPCs like this one. Like, I think Fishman Guardians might work. And I know the um, deep one villagers also drop the artifacts you need to grind normal enemies essentially until you get 40 of these so that we can actually input the fruits on this but now that i've done that let's go ahead and talk to the awakened master we have four abilities they're actually really expensive wow this is like all of my gems this is this is all of them i'm gonna less than 200 left that is well i hope this is good well, let's go ahead and buy all of these abilities, I guess. There goes all of my gems. Oh, I hope this is good. Okay. We have a Wrecking Bond, Ravaging Bondness, Cupid Arrow Storm, and Cupid Cyclone. No mobility from what I can tell, so it's not going to be too good for getting around. But let's, let's test this out. I hope this is good. I was hoping to use gems for something else soon. I'll have to buy some, I guess. But okay, let's do this. So we have Wrecking Bond. Nothing if I hold it. If I like go of it though oh that's kind of cool nine nine thousand damage almost ten thousand for that that is nice i like that then we have a ravaging bond this x nothing let go oh that is nice that is really nice actually look at that that is cool then we have cupid arrow storm hold nothing let go not too bad it rains down arrows around where you aim pretty fast cooldown too they have to be on the ground too to get hit because i didn't hit him in the air there i'm gonna kill him there we go i got bounty again it's been a while since i recorded the last video so i'm guessing it is time based to get bounty from these bosses that that's good to know 
if you already watched the C3 video. But let's see. Cupid Cyclone now. Hold V, nothing. Let go of it. Okay. That was interesting. Also realize you can control the direction those go. So you can kind of like control where the enemies are. I wonder if, if that means I can control where the enemies and like where I'm heading. Can I like do this? I can. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I can see this one being pretty good. That's not too bad. Oh, I can even go up walls with that too. So you can use it as a movement if you want to. This fruit's honestly really weird. It's different. Like all of the abilities are ones that like drag your enemy along with you. Like how does it work with a group of enemies? Let's see. If I do it on the deep divers. But if I do this and then this. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's kind of good. I mean, the damage isn't that good because they still have a lot of health despite being hit by all my attacks, but it's very controlling. Like, that really controls the enemy. It has a lot of hits too, so it's shred through observation. Honestly, that's pretty good. I like this fruit. This one's surprisingly good considering it isn't uncommon. I wish it did have a mobility, not like a one that could use an attack as a mobility. It's honestly probably faster just to dash, but I wish it had some kind of fly. I mean, how well does it do against the fishman's guard? Let's see. If I do this, then this, this, and then he got knocked away when I did that. Honestly, not too bad of damage. I did that a lot there, actually. Like, honest, not that bad. I like this fruit. I don't think I'll use it a whole lot because I do think I like flame a bit better. Like, this is definitely one of those things of like, oh, there's a better option. But quite a bit of damage. I like it. I will say for the price, it's not that good because it costs almost, it basically costs 1,100 for you to max out the entire fruit. So like just to compare that, flame only cost about 600. So you're spending almost double gem wise for a weaker fruit. So I would say unless you're a player like me who, who spends a lot of time just collecting every item in the game or already has all the awakenings or you just have a lot of leftover gems just from pure AFKing, that's where I, that's where I got all mine at. I'd say skip the Love Awakening. Love Awakening uh, might get better if they change or maybe add a movement. Maybe raise damage a bit. I mean, shit, damage is actually quite good, though. Like, if I just take one enemy, you can get a decent amount of damage out against one player. So it'll be kind of good for PvP. I do think there are better ones, though. I truly have no idea what to think of this fruit. I'll definitely say it's up there. It's very mobile with the actual attacks. It just you have to be using them to be mobile. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. 24,000 damage, and then that does an extra, like, 7,000. You can definitely kill a player quite fast with this fruit. Because the normal player, without any accessories, has 43,000 right now. Of course, accessories really changes that. I wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing some players just killing players just super easily with this fruit. That or no one's ever going to use it. Kind of like the bomb fruits. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of the love fruits? Personally, I'm going to say it's a nice like 9 out of 10. There's definitely better options, but, but it's an awakening fruit. Most awakened fruits are really, really good. I think the only like two awakened fruits I didn't really enjoy was Venom. And then a bomb, just because it's a worse flame fruit. But this was quite fun. I, I, fi I find this fruit very fun to run around with.